Hey, it's Mike over at FishYourAssOff.com and today what I'm talking about is snook fishing with swim baits. Swim baits are great, you know, soft plastic swim baits are something that you can just basically pitch out there and reel it. Now, that's probably the biggest advantage of it because it's one of those realistic baits and they get better and better every year with the action and everything that's on them. Uh, the ones I prefer usually have a paddle tail. It seems to me like the paddle tail swim baits are going to give you the most realistic action plus pump out the most of those low frequency vibrations that the predatory fish like. You know, all predatory fish, but uh, right now we're talking about snook. So yeah, let's just go ahead and cover what I'm talking about here. All right, we're snook fishing with swim baits today. And one of the wonderful things about it is you can cover the entire water column with a, a swim bait. Now the snook usually aren't going to be in the middle of the water column. You know, they're going to be towards the bottom, but it depends on where you're fishing. So if you're fishing in three feet of water, I don't know, where's the top, where's the middle, where's the bottom, right? And that's another great thing about a swim bait is I, I love fishing them in super shallow water because that's my favorite way to fish, you know, maybe two feet deep. Uh, right up at the higher parts of the tides around docks and things like that for snook it is just a killer killer way to go ahead and catch those fish but let's say that you wanted to fish an inlet and the fish the snook were all stacked up in the bottom of the inlet well get it have your swim bait and get it down there and same deal and one of the wonderful things about it is you basically just cast it out and reel and you'll catch fish now yes if you cast it out and give it a twitch every now and again you're going to catch more fish but you don't have to so any beginner any anybody can just cast these things out and reel it you want to vary your re retrieve you know so you're like ah let's try slow and see if slow catches anything do that for a few times pitch it out again try it faster till you figure out what the fish are biting it is such a no-brainer type of lure to fish with you know if you're fishing with like a topwater lure a walk the dog type thing i mean you need to understand the technique you know when you're jig fishing you know you got to get that just right when you're jerk bait fishing using a soft plastic jerk bait the bait itself really doesn't give you any action you got to give it the action so that's the wonderful thing about these swim baits you know if you haven't used them you should i'm going to show you some of my favorites here in a second i just wanted to cover just a little bit more first Super easy to use. Oh, and cheap. That's another thing. I'm going to show you uh, these right here. These are excellent, excellent baits. It's the Berkley Power Bait. These things are a buck a piece. I think I paid $2.90 something at Walmart for these. But they're already weighted and they already have the hook. They're just ready to go. You basically pull them out of the pack and you pitch them out there. You know, this is a four inch version, which is perfect they have a bigger version and they have a smaller version too right here is a smaller version i messed up and threw this in when i was in a hurry one day with some dark ones this one is actually supposed to look like this one but it absorbed all the dark out of the uh, yeah dumb but anyways there's a lot of different variations. You know, Charlie's has one right here. And all you care about is this thing swims for you. You don't have to do anything but reel these. You put your, you can rig this weedless and fish it anywhere you want. You know, something like this. These are, these are great lures. And the one I fish with most often is a DOA. This is a three inch DOA cow right here. I usually couple this with an 8 ounce jig head and you can swim it, you can bounce it, you can do whatever you want with it. That's why it's such a, such a great, great lure to have. And I just want to give you a comparison. So, so those had um, a paddle tail on there, so it does its own action, right? Here's another DOA lure that I really like. It's the DOA, it's the big ones. It's basically a larger version of the Terrorize. Its tail moves around a little bit, but not really much. This is something you want to bounce on the bottom, right? So it's a soft plastic. It catches trout, it catches tarpon, it catches redfish, snook, 
but you know you really have to work this to get it to work just right you really want to be bouncing on the bottom this this would I mean the way I like the fish was bouncing on the bottom like you would a flare hawk jig or something like that another great bait is a jerk bait all right but notice the tail again so you saw the tail on that one now notice the tail on this one and again I like DOA because they have big ones they got five and a half inch ones jerk bait but you got a fish it totally different so your swim bait you cast out just reel, you look around, doesn't matter, because you don't have to do anything. You hit pitch a jerk bait out, it's more like twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, you know, let it sink back down. There's work involved, is my point. So, you know, if you're fishing a topwater, like a Zara Spook or something, you gotta learn how to walk the dog. It's like ting, 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 gotta get it just right, however you're doing it, up or down. A swim bait is just a no-brainer and it catches everything. You want to catch snook and tarpon off the beach? Just tie one of those up. I mean, seriously, just, just do that. Uh, you want to catch snook around docks? Just tie one of those on. If you don't want to try too hard, just pitch it out there and catch it. Really, all you got to do is match the size of whatever's running. So right now in my area, we got a lot of those uh, white baits in the area, you know, scaled sardines, threadfin herring type of uh, baits, right? They're roughly three, four inches long. So that's why the DOA or the paddle tail or these bigger versions, that's a three inch or these bigger ones, you know, are what I'm going to use. They're, they're just so easy to use and you can fish them anywhere. You know, if the water's dirty, I'm going to throw something dark on. So there's just a lot, I mean, a, a curly tail is another, is another basic swim bait. You can cast it out there and it just does this little thing as you reel it back. You really don't have to do anything. Uh, I think the paddle tail puts out more low frequency vibrations, which is really what you want. Where a predatory fish is going to be like, hey, what is that? That feels like something wounded or whatever. I'm going to go over there and eat it. Um, so basically I'm going to call everything a swim bait. <laughs> Any soft plastic that makes its own action where you don't have to do any technique whatsoever except cast it out and reel it in at varying speeds. That's what I'm going to call a swim bait. Different people have different ideas on what a swim bait is. But the bottom line is predatory fish, a snook, is going to see this and go, wow, that looks right. And it feels right too. The vibration is putting out. I'm going to go ahead and eat that thing. I'm telling you, these are great great baits to use if you just don't want to try that hard. <laughs> uh, you catch all kinds of predatory fish on this with those types of baits. But I just wanted to cover that. You can catch more uh, of this information. We have all kinds of articles on our pro tips page, uh, fisherassoff.com. So just go ahead and check it out. But that's what I wanted to cover for today. I think I'm done unless I think of anything else. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.